The first time I ever saw Michael Jordan was in 1981 at the McDonald's All-American game in Wichita, Kansas. As soon as I saw him on the court, he was different. Every practice session was like game seven. And he did that relentlessly every single session. Okay, he's dominating us. He's the, he's the best player in the gym by far. We see this. But can he do it against NBA players at that next level? 1984 Olympic team, we went on a, somewhat of an NBA tour against NBA All-Stars to prepare for the Olympics in LA. All the stars showed up. Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Kevin McHale. The best player on the court was Michael Jordan, this junior from the University of North Carolina. And I think ultimately, it, it was the preview of the greatest player of all time coming on the scene. A terrific aerial view of the Hoosier Dome here in Indianapolis, where we are moments away from tip-off. And now, let's go across the floor. Time to hear the player introductions. Welcome, fans, to the exhibition matchup. The starting lineup for Team USA. A 6-1 sophomore from Washington, D.C. and Duke University, number 24, Pete Reynolds. A 6'4 senior from Barberton, Ohio, at the University of Arkansas, number 8, Brooke Grant. A 6'9 senior from Brandon, Florida, and Vanderbilt University, number 18, Jeff Turner. A 6'7 sophomore from Brantley, Alabama, and Auburn University, number 45, Chuck Person. A 7-foot junior from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Georgetown University, number 6, Patrick Ewing. A 6'1 freshman from Newcastle, Indiana. He plays at Indiana University. Number four, Steve Alford. A 6'5 junior from Wilmington, North Carolina. Number nine, Michael Jordan. A 6'6 junior from Brooklyn, New York, and St. John's University, number 13, Chris Mullen. A 6'9 sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the University of Oklahoma, number 12, Wayman Tisdale. A 6'9 senior from Lincoln, New York, and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, number 14, Sam Perkins. Welcome, everyone. Joined by Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan. With us on the sidelines, David Aldridge. We're all set here for what promises to be an exciting exhibition game between Team USA and Mike, a squad of NBA stars. That's right, Kev. Team USA, of course, the team assembled from amateur talents across the country, which will go on to compete in the games this summer. Lots of young guys looking to make a splash in this one. Our Team USA has its work cut out for them, taking on these NBA stars. No kidding. You got that right. Just look at the roster for the NBA stars, and you'll see that the name is very appropriate. These are some of the best players the league has to offer. A bunch of big-name talent on their bench. The best of the best. You're right. Out there for Team USA, we've got Steve Alford and Michael Jordan at the one and two. Then Chris Mullen at the small four. Wayman Tisdale at power four. And down low, it's Sam Perkins. And out there for the NBA stars, Isaiah Thomas is running things at the point. 
with Jim Paxson and Mark McGuire at the two and three. And then it's teammates Larry Bird and Robert Parrish filling out the front court. We know this game doesn't go on anybody's record, but you can tell these players aren't about to come out here and just make each other look good. I think that speaks to the quality of the players on these two squads. These are all true competitors. Here's Aguirre. Count the basket. They drew first blood there. This should and could be a fun one. And you can just feel like there's a bit of electricity in the air tonight. Here's Alford. Jordan inside. Guarded by Paxson. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Nice play by Perkins. His instincts and length really show in the offensive glass. Now Paxson. Shot on the wing. Thomas, no luck. I could only make this game more interesting to watch as a fan. Clark, the fact that both teams are playing for keeps is so interesting. Yeah, I agree with you. I think this contest is going to be full of a lot of up and down basketball. If you blink, you're going to miss it. I'm expecting a lot of high intensity, high effort play for both sides to be pushing themselves to be at their best. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. One guy we're going to keep a close eye on tonight, Mike, and this one is Michael Jordan out of North Carolina with a ton of promise. And everyone wants to see how he measures up against real pros. No better time to get a sense of what he might be capable of in the NBA. Now, here's Jordan. Pass to Tisdale. Jordan against Paxson. Tough start here for Jordan, currently 0 for 2. Here are the NBA stars now. Shoots from the elbow. Again, the Stars score. Jim. Nice shot that time from the mid-range. It is one of Paxson's go-to shots. Clark, there's so much to be excited about watching this unique matchup. But the biggest question is the most obvious one. And that's, who's going to win this game? Look, I don't want to be a guy that fudges on picks, but it could go either way, Kevin. I mean, Team USA has a lot of hungry and ambitious young talents, but... Team Don't expect USA the NBA won. stars just to show up and roll over. I think they also want to win this thing. They got a lot of pride, don't they? Yes, they do. Here's Alford. On the wing, Mullen. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Michael Jordan attacking right away. Looking to get something going here. You know, one of the major offensive weapons out there for Team USA is Michael Jordan. He plays and scores at a very, very high level and could maybe give some of these NBA stars a run for their money. We know he's competitive, and he's certainly going to try to prove a little something out there. That's for sure. Well, Jordan is also special because he's fun to watch. Once he takes that first step to go on the attack, you can't take your eyes off of him. He's a remarkable young talent. And plenty of storylines to cover, but our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, as usual, is all over. David. Thanks very much. Now, everyone knows these are just exhibition games, but neither the Olympic team nor the NBA stars have any intention of taking it easy on one another. The tone seems to be surprisingly serious among these players. Guys, back to you. Well, that's going to be interesting, David. Thank you. I don't know what to expect from tonight's game, Mike. It's, it's going to be fascinating to watch. To me, that comes as no surprise. No matter the consequences of your game, you always want to play your very best. Against the best, correct? I mean, my goodness. You know, something that could give the NBA stars an edge are the little things. Oftentimes, I say the playing things are the main things, and you learn that as a pro. Little attention to detail type stuff, like playing a strong transition game or being able to read and anticipate where a play is going. That's stuff that pros do. You might just see more high IQ plays coming from the NBA stars. 
they'll be a little more calculated with their approach, where Team USA might try to just get things done with sheer willpower and effort. And it's Parrish with the jam. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Jordan outside. Pass to Alford. Back to Jordan. And he gets the bucket. Jordan's got six. Tremendous strength there from Jordan. Knows he's going to get hacked inside. Finishes through it. Thomas deciding where to go with it. Bird inside. Defensive defended by Mullen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Right away, you're impressed by the play of Team USA. This squad may be built from amateur pieces, but all of these guys are at or close to a true NBA skill level. Mike, I don't think there's any question about it. Some of these guys are definitely going to leave the summer games headed to the league. So you do expect them to be playing at close to a pro level even now. But I have to agree with you. This just isn't some scrappy university team we're looking at. Speaking with Bird's opponents, they'll tell you he talks trash the whole time. And, of course, he backs it up with his play. Catching up on the changes for the Stars, McHale's checked in for Aguirre. Whitman comes in for Paxson, and it's Easting in for Isaiah Thomas. Ewing's checked in for Team USA. Turner comes in for Tisdale. Bird hits them both. Free throw shooting is a skill, and this guy absolutely has it. Here's Alford. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Turner up top. Defended by McHale. Turner passes to Ewing. Here's Jordan. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. Eight points for Jordan. Both teams here are dealing with unfamiliar lineups. Playing with guys they usually play against. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt to best fit that. Well, Mike, to me, it simply looks like a glorified high-level playground game. I mean, you got to make adjustments on the fly, adapt to one another. For Team USA and the NBA stars, that's going to be the case. If something isn't working, um, the coach just has to be adaptable. Dishes it to Turner. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Kevin it goes on Kevin McHale. Team USA shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Now the free throw is good, beaten by one. So both teams making some changes here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here is Z-Sting. The pass to Whitman. Inside. Here's McHale. Too much contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Fighting for the hoop. Kevin McHale, Kevin McHale just shot. pure desire. You really can't overstate how many exciting rising stars there are on this team. USA roster. Dynamic college athletes. Many of whom already have big NBA expectations attached to them. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Ewing trying to get open. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Guys like Perkins and Jordan and Ewing all seem like, to me, Clark, potential first-round picks. And I agree, Kevin. It's a very interesting thought to consider while you watch how they handle these NBA stars. I mean, in some ways, this is like a first real taste of pro competition for these guys. Like, I could see Ewing going number one overall, and I could see Jordan, for instance, going in the top three or four picks. I don't have any arguments there. Paxson against Jordan. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Relentless on the boards. McHale will outwork any opponent. You have to try to match his level of energy. Something that's really making this game special is this crowd. I'm told it's over 60,000 people who packed in here to see Team USA take on the NBA stars. Here's Jordan. And the rebound goes to McHale. 
The Stars leading. Poked away. Seasting passes to Paxson. Here is Seasting. Mikhail upside. Back to Paxson. Picked by Williams. To the middle. And the layup is good. Williams has got the lead up to three now for the Stars. 60,000 people. I mean, that's enormous for a rare look park at so many amazing players. And Kevin, it's not surprising at all that many are salivating for this matchup. And I'm sure there are plenty of you folks at home who couldn't be here in person, but you're making just as much noise as these fans are in the building. And now we can enjoy it together. Me, Mike Clark, and all of you. Read the pass to Williams. Out to the right wing. Here is Z-Sting. The putback. It's good on the putback. And now a five-point Stars lead. Well, we're pretty far along in the first half now. And Clark, it's the NBA Stars who have the advantage on the scoreboard, as we can see. Showing us they came ready to win this thing. Not allowing Team USA to catch them unprepared and unfocused. On the basket by Ewing. You know, with his size, skills, mobility, and touch, Patrick Ewing is the perfect option near the basket. Feeds it to McHale and stolen by Jordan. To the paint. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Kevin McHale. Team USA shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he knocks down the free throw. And some changes here for the Stars. Robert Parrish is checked in for Williams. Aguirre comes in for Reed. And Isaiah Thomas is subbed in for c -Stan. Team USA also making some changes. Tisdale, he's checked in for Alford. And Mullen subbed in for Person. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the NBA Stars. Let's go to David Aldridge and see what he's picking up on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Now, I have found something that That's both good. teams' coaches agree on. They think that these games are the best possible way to prepare the Olympic team for international competition. The NBA stars are among, if not the, best players in the world. So who better to challenge USA skills and bring them closer together as a team? Back to you guys. That's a good point. Thanks for that, D.A. Clark, any thoughts on these coaches' assessment? Well, Kevin, I fully agree with them. I mean, there's no way you can agree with them. Playing against the top talent is really the best way to develop your own game and grow as a player. You know the old saying, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. Oh, I love it, Clark. A big part of Team USA strategy has to be making the NBA stars earn their looks. Nothing easy. If they give up quality shots, you know these pros are going to knock them down. So they've got to take away those easy, good looks. Jordan passes to Alford. Ewing inside. Parrish is there. Ewing can't hit. Here's the Stars with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Coach, no question Team USA is going to have to work overtime to effectively defend the NBA Stars. Well, outworking the pros might just be the key. Team USA is full of energetic young guys. So all-out effort on that end could be the difference maker. Jordan against Paxson. Offensively, it's all NBA Stars right now. Putting together a very nice run. Once he gets in close, Paxson puts a really good touch on that shot. He knows how to adjust and take a little bit off of it when he needs to. Ewing kicks to Jordan. Looking for Ewing, he gets it there. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. The assist was really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Outside Thomas. Paxson outside. Knocked away. And so it looks like it'll still be the Stars ball. So for the Stars, Bird comes in for McHale. And Woodson subbed in for Paxson. And Team USA making a change here as well. Concax checked in. Outside Thomas. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Steve Alford. Using his quickness on the interior. That's Thomas's advantage. The Stars have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for Team USA. And both free throws good for Thomas. Team USA trails by nine. Right side, Jordan. Reaching foul. Robert Parrish. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Here's Alford. No points in the game yet for him. Jordan, the pass to Muller. Now Perkins, defended by Bird. Perkins against Bird. Pulls up, count it, and the Stars lead has been cut down to seven on the bucket from Perkins. Perkins uses a mixture of size and agility to outsmart the defense when he's inside. And here is Thomas. Down low, three seconds left, and it's Parrish with the jam. Perfection using the screen that time. Wasn't that beautiful? The strong pick allows him to get free. Defensively, the rotation was late, and they took advantage. And so it's the NBA Stars. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We come back right after this. Welcome back, everyone, for the second half of action in this exhibition game between Team USA and the NBA Stars. It has been a fun one so far. What stood out to me after a full first half of play is the sense of competition out there on the floor. The NBA stars aren't handling Team USA with kid gloves. They're giving their all. And the stars leading by nine. Taking a look now at the NBA stars. Paxson is out there with Thomas. Then there's a Guelph. Then it's Parrish. And it's Bird in at the four slot. Here's Parrish. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Kudos for the effort. But he got there a little too late. Team USA trails by 11. Outside, Jordan. And he converts the layup. Jordan's got 12 in the game. And Clark with Team USA, they don't seem to be holding anything back. Without question, if, if these young guys are intimidated by playing against pros, they're not showing any signs of that. And you know, it's not so easy to have to go up against the guys you're Accustomed to looking up to, Kevin. That takes a lot of confidence. A lot of guts, you're right. Paxson passes to Parrish. Now, here's Thomas. He dishes it to Bird. A fadeaway. And the shot is long. Second half is underway, and for the moment, it's the NBA stars who are out ahead. Defensive and, you know, Kevin, this is where Team USA will really be tested. I mean, because they have to maintain their focus, keep fighting, and keep their composure and confidence. Pros never give up on the game. Yeah, this is a great challenge for Team USA. Mm-hmm. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare for a star. To the inside, here's Perkins. Over Bird. Kicks it out to Mullen. Passes it to Jordan. There's the pick. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Defense tries a little too hard to stop Jordan, and he smartly draws the foul. Team USA have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. First free throw is good. And Team USA making a change here. Ewing's checked in. And so Jordan nails both of them. You know, I find this an interesting challenge that all of these players have to deal with. 
playing with a coach they're not quite familiar with. That can be more challenging than it seems when you haven't had a lot of practice time to build up a relationship there. Knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. By himself. Well, it's Team USA and a run currently getting the best of the NBA stars for the moment. You know, Jordan doesn't need any help there. I mean, his athleticism is really on another level. And with a decent amount of this game already gone, Michael Jordan has been coach just superb on offense. Yeah, this NBA star squad has not been able to shut him down. And he's outpacing Larry Bird in terms of scoring because of it. Can you believe what you just said? Outpacing Larry Bird. Man, it's amazing. That's saying a lot. Yeah. Outside Mullen. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And that's Michael Jordan breaking the 20-point threshold. What a game he's having. They've worked really hard to pull themselves back into this one. But there's still more work to be done. Let's hope they didn't use all their energy fighting to claw back into it. Because they got to find a way to grab the lead. Fade away. Here's Bird. And Ewing with the block. Great at knowing when to time and go up for the rejection. Ewing is a superb defender. And that one drops. Jackson's got 10 points. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. In some ways, this game between Team USA and the NBA Stars is a classic matchup of youth versus experience. No one knows this game better than the NBA Stars, but Team USA has such explosive athleticism. And you can see he was set right there in good legal guarding position. That's a nice job. And his teammates appreciate him sacrificing his body. Just a gritty defensive play. And the Stars now going with a whole new group out there. Concax checked in for Team USA. Here is Zesting. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's McHale. It's deflected. Tough to get a shot over the seven-foot Concax. Great anticipation from him there. Pass to Jordan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jordan's got 12 points here in the second half. So, Clark, if this is a battle of youth versus experience, which wins out? Kevin, that's a hard call. It's tough to pick a favorite here. I mean, I think Team USA could surprise us by keeping the energy level high as this game wears on. But down the stretch, I tend to lean towards the experience of the veterans because they've been here and done this so many times before. They know how to finish strong. Exactly. Excellent D there from Williams. And the Stars leading by three. Here's Reed. And yes, it's good. Reed's got his first points of the game. Here's Team USA. Alford passes to Ewing. Rebounded by the Stars. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Whitman. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The NBA Stars have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. That free throw, no good. The Stars making a switch here. Woodson's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Team USA trails by six. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. And the Stars have possession. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That's Second foul number two for him. Second team foul. Woodson passes to McHale. Inside, here's Whitman, and it's good. Assisting on the play was William. And the NBA Stars lead by eight. The coaches love seeing shots from there at the rim. That's the cunt. Out to the right wing, to the paint, and stolen by McHale. Here's Woodson, and it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The pass to Conk. Williams with the steal. Pass break. It's the NBA star. 
kept alive. Reed kicks to Williams. Back to Reed. Passes to Woodson. And here's Reed. Screen, screen, screen. Pass to McHale. And Ewing with the block. You look at these NBA pros as this game continues to roll on, and you can really tell they just love to compete. None of them have to be here, but they relish the chance to test themselves against the Team USA. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I'm sure Team USA is very appreciative of the NBA stars Clark taking the time to come play these games against them. I could not agree with you more, Kevin. There'll be plenty of heartfelt thanks and handshakes after the game, though. Not while things are going on. Both of these teams are going to be playing their hearts out and competing at a high level. What a great test. Yeah. And as we enter the home stretch of this contest, Clark, the NBA stars are in command of the league. Well, the effort from Team USA has been good. They've been playing hard, but the NBA stars just have that little bit of extra know-how. That's veteran savvy, and that's helped them find the lead. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. Good on both. And the Stars leading by six. Got a piece of it. It's Thomas on the wing. Got it. Good job in the low post. Good job by Isaiah navigating to an inside shot, getting a high percentage look. Jordan inside. Guarded by Paxson. Jordan can't get it to go. And so Bird will bring it up for the Stars. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. Pass to Aguirre. Bird with it. Let's it go from 11. What catches my eye as this game wears on is the consistency of Team USA. Young guys often start to lose focus down the stretch, but not Team USA. Bird against Jordan, and they double up Jordan. Here's Mullen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got three assists now in this one. NBA stars leading by six. The concentration from Team USA could be an indication. Clark of good coaching. That's part of it, but it also can indicate player IQ. I mean, these aren't just college players. I mean, they're the very best of the college guys. They know what it takes to win games, and focus is a big part of that. You said it. Outside Mullen. The pass to Alford. Jordan outside. They set the pick to the middle. Here's Tisdale, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. With a hard road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. A lot of this game already in the books, and offensively, Coach, Michael Jordan has been putting on a show, finding shot after shot after shot. And taking a big scoring lead over Larry Bird. I really think this NBA Stars unit was just unprepared for Jordan. <laughs> Maybe they thought an amateur would be easy to guard. Maybe they did. I don't know. It has been interesting, though. You know, every player wants to win a game they're playing in. But in this matchup, there's some extra pride and motivation on the line. These NBA stars want to put the next generation in check. And Team USA wants to show us they're ready for the lead. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for Patrick Ewing. Here's Alford. Passes it to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Here's Mullen. Offensive rebound. Great hustle right there. Oh, Clark staying active on the offensive glass. Doing work. Those effort plays are how you win. So it's the Stars now. Outside Thomas. Pass to Aguilar. And it's a defensive three-second violation. 
that drive on the line certainly has added some extra mic intensity to this game. You can just see it in the eyes of the players, especially here late in the game. This game might not count for the record books, but these teams are hungry to prove that they can get the better of each other. Jim, this has really been fun. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Here's Alford. Jordan outside. Here's Mullen. Mark McGuire. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Mark McGuire. Two he misses the free throw. Kevin McHale on checked in for the NBA Stars. And he's good on the second. Here's Thomas. Now a timeout call by the Stars. A chance here for the players to get a much-needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor. Patrick Ewing's checked in for Team USA. Thomas finds McHale over Perkins. And it's blocked by Jordan. With an incredible four-foot vertical leap and that 6'11 wingspan, it's tough to get a shot over Jordan. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Jordan's got 18 points now here in the second half. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. Here's McHale. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got four assists now tonight. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Pass to Mullen. He kicks it to Jordan. Down low. Here's Perkins. They get it back. And the pass to Alford. Jordan against Paxson. Jordan dishes to Ewing. And they convert at last on a tip number three. Big moment, so Ewing goes for the big bucket. Trust Patrick to give his all what his team needs him the most. McHale with a screen on Jordan. Paxson against Jordan. And the basket is good. And the NBA stars lead by six. Use the pick, get space, easy, smart basket. Jordan passes to Mullen. Jordan inside, guarded by Paxson, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against the Stars. Harry Bird's checked in for Kevin McHale. And so Jordan nails both of them. In crunch time, Everyone knows the ball is going to Michael Jordan. And an intentional foul right there. And so here are the stars. They lead by four. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Michael Jordan drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. The combo guard packs him at six foot six, has great size in his position and looks to score whenever he can. Sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. Thomas against Jordan. The feed to Perkins. Got it! And now they trail by just four. What an important bucket from Perkins. Not faced by the moment. And he commits the intentional foul. Chris Mullen. At the line for two. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. You know, Mark Aguirre does really just about everything you would ask of him on the floor. Not much Defensive that he can't foul. do. Jim Paxson. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And so Jordan nails both of them. Those free throws were must-haves, and he delivered. It's down to a one-possession game now. 
And the foul called on Michael Jordan. And so he's picked up his final foul. Substitution for the rest of this game. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. Hitting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. Tremendous poise at the line. That should put this game to bed. And Team USA calling timeout here. Here's Perkins. And once again, off the mark by Team USA. And now we've got the intentional foul. Sam Perkins at the line for two. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. You know, Thomas plays the game with such an edge and attitude and great confidence, and I think that gives him an edge out there on the court. He's always willing to go the extra mile. And so that'll do it. It's the NBA stars coming out on top over Team USA. Like an exciting game, but in the end, the pros take the win. Well, some people might say this was the obvious outcome. But Team USA did put up a fight. They just couldn't overcome true pro league caliber players. I think this game is sort of a lesson that these young Team USA players, Clark, will hold on to? No doubt. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, they'll be thinking about what they could have done differently. But the good news is, the flip side, obviously, is soon many of these guys will enter the NBA. And they can get some payback at that time. For our reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.